Hello guys, hope you all are doing well and uh, I'm back with my next video uh, which talks about a problem basically this is a, a problem basically which has been asked in several interviews so I thought I'll uh, explain and provide a solution for it so this problem is based on linked list so let's see what the problem statement is uh, it's about uh, finding the kth node from the middle of the linked list so let's see the problem statement in detail so this is the problem statement uh, that I will be discussing in this particular video so the problem statement is you are given a linked list as an input and let's say that linked list is a and it's of length n and you are also given an integer b so you have three two things here one is the linked list with the length n and an integer b so now you need to find the value of the b node pth node i should say from the middle towards the beginning of the linked list a so uh, what is that value of pth node from the middle of the linked list towards uh, the beginning of the linked list in a and if no such element exists then you have to return minus 1 so let's understand this problem a little better so let's assume that this is the linked list that you have been given as an input 1 2 3 4 5 6 it has six elements pretty simple and the this linked list is a and uh, the length of the linked list is 6 and the number that you have been given the value of b is 2 so you have to find the value of bth node from the center towards the beginning of the linked list so basically if let's say the center is 3 then you have to find the value of bth node towards the beginning so bth node is the second node so 1 2 so this is the bth node here so you have to return 1 so this is the center you move towards 1 and the answer comes out as 1 so this is the solution to this particular problem now let's talk about another scenario wherein the answer would be minus 1 so let's say the value of b is 10 so you have to find the value of bth node from the center towards the beginning so the center is 3 now you traverse towards the beginning but you don't have the 10th node it just ends at the second node and hence the answer is minus 1 because this is something out of the scope of the linked list so this is the problem that you have been given and this is one of the popular interview questions that uh, my students tell me so let's try and attempt this solution so first i would want you all to attempt yourself so what i would recommend now is you should pause this video and try out the solution yourself and uh, then later on you can play this video and watch the solution in the second part of the video so i'll see you guys in some time hello guys welcome back so i hope you guys got a chance to try out the solution here so let's understand the solution now so there are two steps for the solution so first step is the finding the total number of elements in the list because to find the center you have to get the total number of elements in the list and second step is finding the kth element in the list from the center towards the beginning of the list so basically how we should do for linked list is we should traverse in the beginning right so essentially let's assume like this is the linked list so from the center you are expected to travel uh, towards the head but like you know that reverse traversal like going backwards in linked list is not allowed or is not possible so linked list can only be traversed in the forward direction so what we are going to do is we are going to find the position of this beat element or the kth element you can say uh, in the linked list uh, from the beginning of the linked list so instead of coming to the center of the linked list and then trying to traverse in the reverse direction towards the head which is not possible in singly linked list we will try to get the position of this particular node from the beginning so that you can traverse from 
beginning to the end of the linked list because that is what is possible in the linked list so our logic should support that so that is what the two step solution talks about so let's talk about the first part of the uh, solution which is finding the total number of elements in the linked list so this is the algorithm that i'll be talking about so this is essentially a function that will help us find the total number of elements in the linked list and the input uh, that this function takes is the head of the node whose center is to be determined and the output would be the total number of nodes in the given linked list so it's a simple algorithm wherein we create a temp variable which keeps track of head and uh, then we have a total which is initialized to 0 now what we are going to do is while total is not equal to null we uh, iterate through this while loop so total is essentially the variable which keeps track of the total number of head or total number of nodes that are present in the given linked list so we start uh, go passing through every node in this given linked list and we uh, keep incrementing this uh, total variable and the moment we reach the end of the linked list we exit this while loop and return total so we start from 1 then we increment the total to 1 we go to 2 then by uh, following this particular line over here on the fourth line we go to the next node because current is equal to current dot get next and uh, we go to the second node then again uh, this is not equal to null so we increment the total again and we keep doing this till we reach the end and once we reach the end this while loop is exited and we return total to the calling function so this is about the pseudo algorithm for finding total number of elements in the linked list and uh, let's talk about the next step of the algorithm which is uh, finding the kth element in the linked list so what is the value of the kth element so this particular function takes an input which uh, is nothing but the head of the node whose center is to be determined and the value of k so we take two inputs here and the output is the value of the kth node so this is nothing but the program output or the solution for this particular problem so the first step uh, we call this uh, get total function which is nothing but the call to this particular function wherein we take the uh, total number of elements that exist in the given linked list and th on the next line we create a variable called final node and we perform this arithmetic operation wherein we do n plus 1 divide by 2 so n is nothing but the total number of elements so here the total number of elements in our example would be 6 so we this comes out to be 6 so 6 plus 1 is 7 7 divided by 2 it's 3 and we do minus k so k here is nothing but this particular value so what we so let's do the calculation again so 6 plus 1 7 7 divided by 2 is 3 because so it won't be 3.5 because this is integer it will be 3 and 3 minus 2 is 1 so guys the answer is the first node so we have to start from the beginning and we have to uh, return the node which is nothing but the first node in the linked list and we have to print that as an output so that is what this final node uh, is basically so so if final node is less than 0 uh, then we return minus 1 so just in case the value of k is very large like over here like over here the value of k was very large it was 10 so the answer we got was minus 1 so here if the value of k is 10 let's say and uh, the and calculation of this part is 3 then 3 minus k is 3 minus 10 is uh, minus 7 so basically this is less than 0 so it will return minus 1 and that is what the output we expect and if that's not the case then we simply traverse to the final node so how we do traversal is we initialize current 
uh, which nothing which is nothing but uh, the head of this node and uh, we initialize two counters count equal to one and answer equal to zero so we traverse till the end of the list so while current is not equal to null and if count is equal to final node we keep on incrementing or uh, we uh, keep on uh, checking this condition for every iteration of while loop and the moment count is equal to final node it means that we have found our node and uh, we then uh, return basically so the moment we have uh, found our node we just initialize it to the answer variable and we break otherwise we keep incrementing the counter and uh, we keep traversing using the current dot get next and at the end we return answer so this is not nothing but the solution for this particular problem let's hop on to our ide and let's try executing this solution so i am on intellij idea and i already have a project created over here called link list find k node and i already have some code here which uh, is for the basic link list so this is a node uh, node of link list and uh, we have two items here one is data and next and the other uh, one is the constructor and then you have getters and setters so this is a structure of a node in the li given link list and uh, then we have uh, two variables here in single link list class uh, one is size so i'll just delete this size we are not using it anywhere and then we have head so basically we are only keeping track of head now in this particular list and we have a constructor and then we have a function to traverse uh, so this traversal function will just traverse through the link list and uh, print the values and we have a prepend function which is used to add a node in the beginning of the link list okay so these are some of the standard functions that a link list is supposed to have now what i'm going to do is i'm going to paste some code over here and this code is for these two functions which we just discussed on our slides so i'll talk about this first function here get total so get total is the function that returns the total number of elements in the given linked list so if a linked list has six elements you pass the head of that linked list and get total will tell you that it has six elements so how it works is it we first create a temp node and we initialize it with head and then we create a total variable which is initialized to zero and this total will keep track of the total number of nodes and then we traverse through the link list and we keep incrementing total till we reach null a moment we reach null we break out of this loop and we return total the next function is uh, the function that will help us find the kth element and it accepts two uh, parameters one is the head of the node and the other one is k now on the first line we call this particular function to get the total number of elements in the linked list then we uh, use this particular logic to find the final node from the beginning of the linked list so instead of finding the kth node from the center towards the head of the linked list we find the node from the beginning of the linked list so that traversal is easy and we do that by this particular uh, calculation and uh, we have a value now in final node if value is less than 0 then we return minus 1 and if not we uh, using this logic we keep iterating over uh, this particular uh, linked list and we reach the moment we reach final node we assign it to the answer and we return the answer so let's call this particular function from our uh, main uh, main method and let's see the output so single link list single link list is equal to new single link list so i've created one single link list here now let's create this exact single same list over here which we are seeing over here so this is link list a it has the following elements six elements so single link list dot prepend so since i am prepending i'll first i'll have to add the last element first because it's a prepend function and uh, then i keep adding uh, 5 4 3 2 and 1 
and then I'll print this particular link list. So dot traverse. So let's run this code and let's see the output. So the output should be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there is an error. It cannot find variable size. So I'll have to declare a variable size. So private integer size. There you go. And I'll run this code now. And this is what the output is. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, the next step is to call the find kth function. So basically what I'll do is I'll print system dot dot print and answer. And I'll type in singly link list dot find kth function and I'll pass the head first over here head singly link list dot head comma. So I'll pass the head first of singly link list and then I have to pass the value of B which is nothing but K. So this will be two and I'll pass two over here and I'll run this code. So ideally the output should be one. There you see the output is one. So the answer is over here one. So this is how this uh, problem is solved and uh, this is the most efficient solution that I could come up myself. If you guys have any feedback, any suggestions, any improvements that you would want to suggest, I would be happy to take your comments or uh, feel free to comment here. And uh, if you like this video and found it valuable, uh, please do hit the subscribe button. So thank you guys. Have a good day.